you look at that what the hell is going on there what I'll tell you what's going on Peter Frampton my Poland Pro 4620 just got a blow job that's right this is a little handheld blower for really small applications they like to show um, they like to show it being used like to blow off a desktop or a workspace and uh, we have a 372 XP carburetor right here that has nothing in there. There's, we go straight back to the blower. All right. Um, my theory was that I would be able to utilize the throttle. And maybe you can see this. Whenever that fan kicks on, it draws fuel. You can see it getting wet, right? So to start it, all you really have to do is hold down that blower a little bit. That'll get some fuel going, and, and then it'll fire up and run. Um, the, but how I did this setup here, I took and I cut the handle off. <sighs> the handle came up like this, and it connected in two places. I just cut it off, and I built this mount going down and it bolts down to the bottom of the tank. I have two nine volt batteries ran uh, parallel actually. So it's only nine volts. Whoop. It's only nine volts going to this Holly fuel pump. The fuel pump is capable of about seven PSI and it is not blowing past the seat in there. Um, however, the seat was staying closed. The needle seat on this side because the air moves back and forth, the impulse air, and it drives your fuel pump on this side, but it seems like it also drives this diaphragm over here on this side, moving it back and forth, and that's what al allows fuel to even flow in at all. And um, so what I had to do was I had to bend open that, uh, that needle valve, bend it open so that just whenever I put the cover on there, it was already releasing pressure so that fuel would flow. Um, I was really happy about this. This is the actual electric trigger from the blower itself, and I got it to mount inside this handle. It's pretty slick, huh? Uh, we got a rechargeable battery right here. Oh, there we go. We pull off. Mounted that up, you know, with some wire on the inside of it. And, you know, it's working. Uh, it's getting the job done. But you guys, I'm sure, want to see this in the wood. For the exhaust, this had already been modified, and I just cut some extra holes there so that it would flow well out the exhaust. So the way that I did this video um, is... Uh, it... it, it I already ran it. It just, I was testing it. I didn't think it was going to run. It, it did. And so I know how it runs, but you guys want to see for yourself. So here it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Frampton gets a blowjob. <laughs> so I have fired it up. I know that it will start. I don't know how well it runs or anything like that. Um, I've got it set what I think to be really rich. I got both the high and the low jet turned two full turns out. And um, we'll just go for it and see if she cuts. <laughs> I'll have to shut it down every time that I want to make a tune, you know. Oh. 
All right, so too rich. We're doing a half a turn in on both. Another half a turn. It is really nice to uh, have the screws right there. That right there is all the way in on the high jet. That's clearly too lean. I think it's clearly too lean. Well, the blower's working. It just doesn't seem any more powerful than it was before. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mediocre. I guess the thing to do would be to go back in it and change the intake timing and uh, um, allow it to pull in a lot more fuel. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, she running as it is. I don't even have to. Let's try a cut without touching the trigger at all. Let's let's try that. I don't know about y'all, but I saw literally no difference whatsoever between me hitting the trigger and not hitting the trigger. It's just running wide open. Uh, Cause this carburetor, I don't have butterfly or nothing. It's just no choke, no, no throttle butterfly, nothing. It's just an open bore and it's just sucking in as much as it can. And the blower seems to make zero difference the that's weird it's weird that it would make zero difference because we're drawing through that carburetor and in, and forcing it into the cylinder so in theory i should be able to open up the intake as far as i want to go like i could do a hundred on the intake you know uh so 200 degrees of duration because you can't spit it back because the blower is pushing it in. But, uh, weird. The blower doesn't make any difference at all. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty nifty. <laughs> Will it be fast enough to win at Sawfest? 
Shit, no. If it is, bad on you other porters, man. Because <laughs> it's, it's, maybe it's a little bit faster than it was before. Maybe. <laughs> I know that one thing for sure, this thing still does not have a timing advance. And I think I'll get back in there and do a timing advance. Uh, but as far as everything else, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I might not even start it again until the day of Sawfest. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but that's, uh, how do I put this? mildly that's about close to as good as you can get with trying to blow a piston ported two stroke and that's why it doesn't really seem to work because as soon as the exhaust opens you lose all of your pressure that's above the piston um, and you can't just pack, pack, pack the cylinder the way that you would want to because there's no valves or anything. Yeah, you could probably add a reed valve and do, I don't know if you'd do any better, really, unless you had a reed, like a true reed setup. The piston gets in the way and it stops you from filling everything up. Um... I've seen a handful of videos of people trying to turbo a chainsaw, as I'm certain that you guys have too. I know uh, Rocky Mountain Chainsaws, I think, CPI, they've done it. And, um, you know, good on them. They did it through actually capturing the exhaust pressure and, uh, and having it turn a turbine. But the same problem exists and that is on the intake side. And then whenever your exhaust opens, you lose all that pressure and stuff. So I noticed in their video, it didn't seem to run any better than just a regular chainsaw, you know, like or maybe a regular ported chainsaw. So is it worth doing? Uh, I mean, for me, yeah. This, uh, this little blower setup, I bought it off of Amazon, like, oh, over a year ago, I think, I think. And uh, I've been wanting to try this out just for the hell of it. But, and, and I already had the saw, couple, handful of little scrap parts here and there. Was it worth doing for me, just for curiosity sakes? Absolutely, it was. A lot of people said it won't even run. It, it's not even gonna run, it's gonna fall on its face. You know, um, well, it very clearly ran. It just ran at wide open throttle the whole time. Uh, and uh, oddly enough, man, the blower's coming on. I wasn't sure that the blower was even coming on because it made no difference whatsoever. It just literally made no difference. And if this setup isn't making any difference, you're gonna tell me a setup that's actually using the exhaust pressure and feeding back in is gonna make a difference because that's as a, a, a straightforward a, of a boost as you can get, you know? You're just cramming more air in the intake. Now, if you did other modifications to the intake, which I'm not 100% sure what you would do, but if you did that, then maybe you got a chance of making some more power. But I think that, no, you're not, you're, yeah, this is pointless except for fulfilling my curious wishes you know what i mean that's that's really all it is but i'll take it i'll probably do that timing advance 
and then uh, I'll take it to Sawfest and we'll run it just like that and see if I can actually gain any more power. So now let's go back into the garage. I'll probably put it at the beginning of the video, but we're going to go into the garage right now and do an overview of what I actually did to this to make this setup work. And uh, hopefully it will respond to that timing advance because I know it needs one. The timing advance is not allowing it to get up there to the RPMs where it needs. But, uh, but as far as the blower, ah, doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, well, it clearly did make a difference over what it was before. Um, we got uh, about a second and a half gain, which is about 15% gain over where it was previously. Um, but, uh, but I think that's probably all because of that 372 carburetor. Like if I had just mounted a 372 carburetor onto the intake, I would have seen these same gains, possibly more. I, I don't know. Um, but, uh, I think what I'm going to do, so I got the flywheel off, but I can't find my little file. I need a little file to get in there. So I had to order some more. Um, I needed a new set anyways, uh, because those little files, they get lost. Hence the situation that I'm in. <laughs> um, so, but, uh, I'll do the timing advance. I'll uh, probably advance it about eight degrees because these things, they need a timing advance. And that's one of the things that was holding back Peter Frampton. Anyways, uh, I, I knew it needed a timing advance. I just, that was early on whenever I was, that was one of the earlier saws that I ever ported. And, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, and I, I think that I'll probably just go ahead and fill it up with uh, methanol. Do the timing advance not running at all, get up there to Sawfest, fill the son of a bitch with methanol and turn those screws out to about two and a half turns <laughs> and send it. And maybe we'll blow it up because this thing right here, it's, uh, you know, once this little Sawfest is done, it's just going in the trash can. <laughs> I don't know. I might keep it and put it up there on the shelf just because, but it, it's so big. It's got that stupid blower sticking out the top of it now. But... Anyways, uh, I, I think that's what I'll do. I'll do the timing advance, and then whenever I get up there, pump out all of the gasoline and add straight straight uh, methanol to it and send it. <laughs> Hopefully it'll do all right. Boy, it didn't stand a chance against darkness, did it? <laughs> darkness was like, nope, see ya, bitch. You. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's kind of funny. Uh, all blown so does a is a conventional two-stroke piston ported two-stroke capable of being boosted i think from this video you can go no uh i know i've seen some other stuff out there and i don't want to take away from anybody but you know um yeah it it, it don't work <laughs> it, it, you know uh do spend your time on a good port job and uh you'll get more power that way than you will by trying to add a big old goofy turbo of some sort. But hey, we're all just playing here and it was fun for me to get this and, and it's fun for me to have this and hopefully this video gets a lot of views. We'll see. Later.